the American Cancer Society and the American College of Radiology, both of those um, entities recommend that screening mammograms are performed between the ages of 35 and 40 as a baseline. And then after the age of 40, then to do it on a yearly basis. Most insurances will cover a yearly screening mammogram one year and a day. So you want to make sure you have that one year and a day between your exams after the age of 40. The first thing you want to do is go to your physician um, and have your normal checkup. Your physician will write you a um, order for your mammogram and then you bring that to the facility and we follow out whatever the doctor orders. Um, most mammography exams are completed within a 30 minute time frame. If it's a screening mammogram, usually about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, diagnostic mammograms, because they are more detailed, can take up to 30 minutes. With the onset of digital mammography, um, women do not complain about the pain of having a mammography performed as much as they have in the past. Um, it is going to be dependent upon the patient. Every woman is different. Their pain tolerance is different. Their medications are different. The time of the month, their cycles, is all going to influence that. Um, so, uh, we do know that um, the week before you have your monthly cycle, you don't want to schedule your mammogram. You want to schedule it for the week after because you'll have less fluid retention and that makes the examination more sensitive. Um, two other things, caffeine and chocolate will influence that as well. So if uh, women will monitor those three areas and um, that will make the exam a lot more comfortable. And if you have sensitive breasts, be sure to convey that to the, to the technologist too, because there are some um, cues and communications that we can, can add in there that will prep you and let you know. We'll talk you through it, we'll coach you through it. Screening mammograms are performed on a yearly basis to um, document the stability of the breast tissue. And the difference between a screening mammogram and a um, diagnostic mammogram is that typically that indicates that you're having a problem. And so with a diagnostic mammogram, the testing is much more detailed and it provides um, special views that the radiologist will review Sometimes when you have a screening mammogram and the comparison has done with previous images, there are tissue changes that are visible to the radiologist. And so the radiologist will request um, additional imaging of that specific area of the breast. So when you come to Claremont Radiology for additional imaging after you've had your screening mammogram, uh, we call that an incomplete test. So we're acquiring more information it doesn't mean that there is something wrong, but it means that there are changes that we need to document. We need to find out what's going on. Um, so when you come for the, that additional imaging, I will do magnified views or compression views or additional images with the mammography equipment followed up with an ultrasound of that area. Now ultrasound will tell us something completely different because mammography is used for location, location, location. And then when we go to ultrasound, what that does is tells us what type of tissue is located in that area. Whether it's filled with fluid, whether it's tissue overlapping on itself, um, um, a solid lesion, lymph nodes. You have lymph nodes all throughout your breast tissue and sometimes those will show up on the mammogram. So it just provides further information and documentation about what the makeup of the breast is. Comparison images, previous mammogram exams are vital 
they provide information about what's normal for that patient from a year-to-year -year basis. Because when we do a mammography, we're not looking for just the obvious changes. We're looking for um, breast changes that occur that you can't even feel with your fingers. So it's a skilled radiologist that's going to review those images and it provides that documentation about what's normal for the patient because my mammogram is going to look very different than someone else's. So it's important that I provide my previous history, those actual images, so that there can be a film by film comparison and uh, document the stability of the breast tissue. If there are changes that are occurring, we want to know that and take uh, further testing at that time. And Claremont Radiology does have a, a qualified radiologist in the building when we are doing our mammography exams. The way the process works is that when you come in to have your mammogram, uh, the mammographer will acquire the images those images are um, transferred digitally to the radiologist desktop. The radiologist reviews the images and does a film by film comparison with your previous mammograms to document the stability of the breast tissue. A finalized report is then sent to the physician that ordered the exam and then that physician goes over those test results with you. Claremont Radiology uses a Fisher Cinoscan, and so the images are acquired in slices, and it produces a digital image that is reviewed by the radiologist. Claremont Radiology does have a mammography team um, that meets all of our um, MQSA requirements to perform mammography. Everyone has been trained and is very skilled in doing mammography exams. Claremont Radiology is an FDA approved MQSA facility uh, for mammography. So we have met all the criteria as mammography technologist and also our radiologists meet those same standards by the FDA and MQSA. Claremont Radiology provides um, a private environment, one-on-one uh, -on -one attention whenever you come to the facility. Our mammography department um, has a separate waiting area and um, it is um, connected into the suite where the ultrasounds are performed as well. So it provides privacy, um, it's a soothing environment and also the technologists are friendly. <laughs> that would be me! <laughs>